Hello again everybody, Floyd here, Never Ending Adventure. And today I want to go over scanning the fuel injector KTMs with a standard scan tool. These bikes are sold in California, so they have to meet the emissions requirements for that state. So that means all over North America, these bikes have to meet the OBD2 criteria. As you all know, I ride a 2021 500 EXCF. Uh, this bike has uh, been really good so far. I did some research and I came up with uh, a cable to use. It was pretty, there wasn't a lot of information out there. So I had to uh, take a chance and I ordered a cable and turns out it's working just great so far. Now I'm able for the scan tool to communicate with these bikes. You have, you have to know the correct protocol. So that's a big step too as well because without that known information, you're dependent upon a scanner to automatically detect that. Um, the cheaper scanners will pick up on it right away. The more expensive scanners, because they're more in depth, sometimes you need to know that protocol. I can help those who reach out to me now and again, but um, I'm not gonna be able to tell you if X bike will scan or can you use this out or the other on my bike, I don't know. This is, how, this is how much information is out there, everybody. Like I had to really take a chance on uh, the cable itself. I already have all the equipment to scan vehicles because I do all my own work. So uh, it was pretty much a no brainer that way. Okay, so here's the cable uh, that we're going to adapt the OBD2 scanner to the KTM dirt bike. So on one end we have the, I hope you guys can see that, we have the a six pin adapter. So this is a six pin cable. You can get either four or six. And again, I didn't really know what to get. So I just winged it and I went with the six. And on here we have the standard OBD2 connector, which will, this will, imagine this is on your vehicle right now. And that's what you'd plug your vehicle scanner into right now. Okay. Okay, this is a scan tool we'll be using today. It's an Innova. I uh, bought this probably about six or seven years ago. It's a 3160B. It, uh, I've scanned many vehicles with this. Just a general note, um, having this and being able to scan the bike is only half the equation. And why I say that is because that uh, you need to know, uh, you need to have a grasp on how fuel injection works and, and what each device does in a fuel injection system. Just having, the, having this and telling you, it, it's telling you a code isn't necessarily going to get you there in the way of figuring out what the problem is. All right? Okay, what are some potential problems that we could have? Um, so I did think of that. When I was uh, looking at the cable, I knew for a fact that it's not like a car where you can turn the ignition on and the car will communicate with your device. So the KTMs and their brilliance have the key so that it only the system only comes on when you bump it over with the starter. So that's that's an issue because what if the bike's not running? You're going to have to figure out a way to hold the ECM on. Okay, I can help you there. Okay, let's get the scanner hooked up, get the bike running. Now the bike will be running this time, but I will go over how to jump the ECM so that you can turn the, turn the bike on and have it communicate with the scanner even though the bike's not running. Okay, I'm just gonna pop the side panel off. And I'll note that scanner cable is this one right here. It, uh, it has six pins, but I see that mine only has five wires going to it. Okay, so to start with, we're going to take the adapter cable. We're gonna plug it on. Yes, I know my filter is dirty. I haven't prepped the bike yet for this year. <laughs> Let's, uh, so we're gonna plug the six-way connector into the OEM plug. Then we'll take the scanner We'll take the OBD2 connector and we'll plug that into there. Okay, then I'm going to turn the scanner on. Okay, now we're hooked up. We're just going to get this, uh, get the bike rolling. It's going to get noisy for just a second. Uh, what it's going to do is it's going to go through the protocol and find the correct protocol for the bike. Go. 
Okay, so what if the bike won't start, the bike won't run? Okay, so if, it, if there is something that is electronic, one of the sensors preventing it from running, we can find that out. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll fire up the ECM by, by, by jumping it, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, if you lift up your seat, and you look underneath your seat, you will see if you just uh, lift up the ECM, This white connector is what you want to look for. And this lead right here in the corner is uh, the one that you can jump. And what you, if you just ground that lead, it will fire the ECM up. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, jumper it. I just use a test light. I have it on the negative of the battery. And I'll just take and uh, just touch this. There we go. So what's happened is the bike is fired up. The scanner is on. So it's so it's scanning right now is what it's doing. There you go. So it's come up clean. So that's how I did that and that is super easy uh, if the bike doesn't run. Okay, so your bike doesn't run and you've scanned it and it comes up clean. I think now, you know, you need to go to the basics, feel pressure, um, decent battery, you know, those kinds of things. Jump it with your vehicle, see if it'll start. Uh, I see these all the time on the, the forums where my bike won't run, my bike won't start, uh, it idles poorly, uh, and really these bikes are no different than any other, any other engine. Uh, they have these specific sensors and if it, the scan comes up clean then it's going to be a high tension lead, fuel problem or the like. And it's just a matter of sticking with it and you'll figure it out. Okay folks, so that's all I have for uh, this segment. Um, yeah, if you, if you have any questions just uh, put them down below in the comments. I'll do the best I can to answer them, but like I said I can't, uh, I certainly can't diagnose everybody's motorcycle for them, but uh, if you're having a problem and I can help out, I certainly will. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's about it for today. Uh, just uh, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, yeah, I don't know. And check out my other videos of uh, my travels. Excellent, well, that's it. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Click here to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Or click here to see some of my other videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and leave any comments or questions at the bottom of the page.